Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video we will look at uh, the various file location setup in uh, Marketing Cloud. So as you can see we're in the setup and how do you come there is like under the name here, the profile, you can see the setup option here. So when you click on setup, like you know, you get this menu and under data management you'll see the option called file locations. So this is where you actually go ahead and create all the various file locations that you want to use in Marketing Cloud uh, under your specific uh, business unit. Um, so uh, you have to like you know create one record for each different distinct uh, file location that you're going to use, uh, especially in in Automation Studio, right? You'll see here there are a number of them that I've configured. Uh, so there's one for the import folder, then I have one for the export folder, uh, I have one for a file drop uh, subfolder that's inside import, and I have something called uh, for safe house. Now, uh, the, uh, whatever you see here, that's uh, the FTP is, is primarily on my FTP folder. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see, I've used Bin SCP uh, to like you know log into the uh, the enhanced FTP associated with that particular business unit. Uh, when I log in on the right side that you hear, this is the FTP enhanced FTP folder um, that that, you, that we we are going to be using for our automations. Um, so as you can see here, there's an export folder, there's an import folder, and a triggered automation. So these, uh, by default, they, they come with that FTP setup. Uh, so with an import, I've actually created a subfolder called file drops, right? Um, so I, we're uh, using that for uh, one of our automations, which you will actually look at in a, in a future video. So you can see all of those configured here. Salesforce objects and reports, uh, it's because I have like Marketing Cloud Connect, uh, like, you know, uh, connecting over to CRM, so it's getting coming as like default configured. Uh, so let's look at like how do we configure uh, if I want uh, a file location that's referring to a subfolder, right? So if I come into the import folder and I, I want to like create a new folder here, because uh, we probably would be using one for uh, an application for e-commerce. So let's say I'm actually like uh, trying to set up for e-commerce application uh, any files referring to like you know that's under the e-commerce application I want it to be like you know uh, placed under this folder so I'm just like you know going to cr uh, create this folder here in FTP now uh, in order to refer that particular folder in any of our automations you need to like create a reference file location for that right so let me go ahead and name that here and I will probably do it under import uh, and then I will have it named as e-commerce okay I'll just use that same description and under here is where you actually like you know configure the different types um, of what type of uh, location that you're configuring uh, for you can see like you know if it was the import directory I would have actually put as the import if it's the export um, and ideally you would you would have like just one of each of those uh, you can have external FTP sites like external you can configure that and then you can go ahead and, and start referring to each of those. Uh, for this one, because it's under our existing import folder, uh, you have to like use this particular uh, notation here, like relative location under FTP site. And then you have to like, you know, give uh, an option, something like this. So import slash, what is the relative path? So we created this e-commerce. So what thing you'd really need to notice and be careful here is the, the uh, the caps, uh, the letters, uh, should the case of the letters should be exactly the same as what you have here. Uh, if it is a capital E, uh, with the rest of it small, you make sure like you know that's the same uh, you give here as well. Uh, otherwise, like you know when you try to like reference that in the automation uh, when we're trying to configure and then trying to pull that file up, uh, the file path, uh, you will not find it. Right, so always make sure, like you know, you configure this exactly the same as what you have actually, like you know, provided in the FTP folder. So uh, when I save, you will see the file location is saved, and then you will see you have an FTP e-commerce import uh, fo folder file location that we have just saved. And this is something that we can use in our future automations, and we we'll probably try to see in, in one of the next videos that that's upcoming. Uh, we'll try to use that uh, in in one of the steps as well. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, join me in the next video to see how we were going to use the uh, file drop automation. Thank you.